You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. A little bit more information about games coming soon to the Atari VCS. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Ballistic Coffee Boy here. So, quickly wanted to go over some more games that were kind of um, that are being talked about on Atari's Discord. <clears throat> Didn't want to leave those out. So, first of all, a game I haven't talked about before is Starfighter Alien Blaster, and this was posted by JD in Atari's Discord. He has an image here coming soon, only on Atari VCS. This was posted uh, about a week ago or so, and uh, pretty cool. Um, it says here he didn't want to put out a lot of official images yet because aspects of the game may change in the coming weeks. Um, really cool. So we don't have a lot of information about this game, just kind of this screenshot of the cart and made with Atari BCS, which is really cool. So another game that I see in Discord I haven't talked about yet is Ends Reach um, by uh, uh, C-U-I-R-A-S-S -S Entertainment. And I'm not sure how to say that. But um, pretty cool. So um, this game, uh, they talked about it a little bit. Christian in Discord says, Ends Reach is a 3D open world action adventure game releasing exclusively on the Atari VCS, built with the performance and specs of the Atari VCS in mind. It features a vast open world with six unique locales, three major dungeons, do dozens of unique enemies, and an arsenal of weapons to discover, each with their own suite of elemental abilities. The character starts off lost in space with a damaged suit. Through exploration and problem solving, you will acquire new components that grant the suit new abilities. Every area is also filled with hidden collectibles that grant additional power to those willing to take a peek around every corner and solve every puzzle. The game is currently in its testing and polishing phases. Any new content available to share will post here as well as on the game's social pages. So he says here uh, there will be a trailer coming out uh, Friday, October 14th of last year, showing more of the game's world and improved performance features. <clears throat> so pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. And we do have, uh, let's see, a little trailer here. And um, let's take a look at that. It's, it seems pretty cool. Here we go. Pretty neat, guys. Let me know what you think about that trailer for sure. And uh, looking forward to that one. So also kind of looking down in Discord, of course, we see uh, Orange Pixel talking about Regulator City, which I think is in beta testing right now. Um, and I've talked about this, I think, once before. Um, but let me go up here and see. Uh, he been, he's been talking about this since last October, it looks like. Uh, the current game in development, he said, in October. And uh, let's see, we do have uh, like a video or something to share here. And um, I will definitely, definitely show that right here. Here we go. 
Cool. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, that one looks amazing as well. So, uh, looking through Discord, I just wanted to make sure we got all these in here. Um, Nicholas says he's working on GX Play, and he mentioned this last October as well. Um, he says currently working on Kuro Nico, and he changed the post title to GX Play right after that. And uh, interesting, though, uh, let's see here. Um, looks like we do have uh, some test footage here to show you, so let's take a look at that.
Really cool, guys. Looking forward to that one, too. Also, we've talked about this one before, uh, Cubix by Tukasoft. Let's take a look at that early demo. Pretty neat, guys. Let me know what you think about that. So uh, that's pretty much all I see on Discord right now as far as what's talked about in um, on individual forums. Um, I also wanted to briefly discuss Metgan Games. Um, him and I uh, met up last weekend and talked about his upcoming game, Doodle Taxi. And uh, I did want to share this with you guys. I shared it with uh, Air here on YouTube, but um, we were talking, but um, Atari Information Report. But... Um, uh, Khan with Metagame Games told me that he's currently retooling the game. In fact, the game cha the game title could change. So um, the footage that um, I'm about to show you um, could definitely change. But he shared this with me last week, and I wanted to show it to you since uh, a couple other content creators have as well. Here you go.
Really cool. I'm so excited about this game. The art style is amazing, and I I I, I really like what Khan did here with uh with the visuals um and um, the gameplay. Um, word on the street is it might be separated out, like the color aspect might be a sequel or a different game. Um, primarily though, his purpose is to make it a taxi simulator, which I'm excited about. It looks really cool. So let me know what you think, you guys, about these games we're hearing about here and there. Um, these are ones I've been kind of waiting to hear more about lately i know they've been talked about but i haven't seen anything kind of newer as far as videos come out but anyway i definitely wanted to get them out there because they definitely look like they're coming at some point hey guys full disclosure while i was putting this video together <clears throat> some news came out of course for atari vcs two new games were announced that seem to be homebrew games and they're also featured on atari age um so the first one of these is, well, it's Tower of Rubble and Amoeba Jump, and this is awesome. Atari VCS tweeted out, two 2600 games from Dianoid Studios is coming to the VCS. Amoeba Jump and Tower of Rubble is available for download soon. Sounds like this is coming, like, this week or something. Really cool. Or next. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> so, very excited about this. Uh, Amoeba Jump, if you go on YouTube, I'm going to show the trailer. It says Amoeba Jump is a new Atari 2600 game available at Atari Age. Amoebas have a bad reputation, which is totally unfair. Almost all of these single-celled creatures just like to eat bacteria, not brains. Did you know that amoebas don't have a fixed body shape and move around by changing the shape of their pseudopods, which they also use to gather food? In this game, you play as Mr. Amoeba, a friendly microbe who enjoys eating bacteria pretty much indiscriminately. However, you first have to jump up the platforms and earn a thousand points before those delicious bacteria start appearing. Mr. Amoeba has two pseudopods on his head, which he uses both for jumping and eating bacteria. Let's take a look at this game. I'm very intrigued.
Wow, that looks incredible. I can't wait for this game, guys. Let me know what you think. Really cool news that just came out. Hot off the press. So the next game is Tower of Rubble. And um, let me get this up on my screen here. Um, excuse me. So it says Tower of Rubble, Atari 2600 homebrew game. This was published two years ago on Atari Ages YouTube page. It says, set in 1932, you are a British adventurer who has just stolen a valuable golden mask from the ruins of an old Inca tower on a small deserted island off the coast of Ecuador. Wow. Locals avoid the island and its tower as rumor has it that the old Incas brought it to life so it could protect the treasure hidden inside. In their in indigenous uh, Kuchua language, descendants of the Incas call the tower Turi Rake, which roughly translates to Tower of Rubble. Okay, this is hard to read a little bit. It says, What seemed like an easy pickup quickly turns into a nightmare. Soon after snatching the golden mask from its pedestal and walking back to leave the island, you find that hot lava is emerging from the sea that surrounds the island. You are trapped. And to make things worse, at the very moment the tower awakes and turns out to have a very malicious personality. Really cool. So this looks really neat. Let me show you this trailer. Wow. I'm so excited about this, guys. Let me know what you think. These seem to be two homebrew games uh, that Atari Age has featured in the past. Excuse my hat. Um, let me know what you think. I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm just so busy right now recording stuff, so of course this had to drop right now when I had a little sliver of time available to edit. But anyway, I'm so excited. That overrides everything. I just can't wait. Let me know what you think down below. These games look really neat. So really cool. I also wanted to let you guys know, um, I've been starting to air um, my Legend of Zelda gameplay on my Nintendo Switch. I know that's not Atari related, but if you're interested, it's going to air every Sunday. Uh, 
on No Filter HD. So this Sunday, I've got part two coming up of that game. It's a great game. I grew up on Zelda, so of course I had to play it. And I figure why not show it on my channel. So no, it's not Atari related, but if you love Zelda, there you go. Um, so also we have Crank and um, Espresso every Wednesday and that Atari show every Monday. And BCB on Friday. I know I have a lot of content here and there. Um, so, uh, but really excited about my next, that Atari show. Coming up, I'm going to be talking about the Atari flashback. Um, a complete overview. And uh, in fact, I might get into character for that one because there's so much to go over. But um, not 8-Bit Bubba. Um, but you'll just have to wait and see. All right. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be a good person. Get your Java. My Java's in there, but I am drinking. I'm on my second cup right now, but... Go play some Atari. We'll see you guys later. Oh, and really quickly, I wanted to say today, on May 23rd, I hit 900 subscribers. I can't freaking believe it. Um, as I've said, every time I talk about these milestones, I, I'm, I mean, I was excited to get 100. Um, and um, so 900 is just amazing. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. Please subscribe if you haven't for all the latest Atari news, um, reviews, and deep dives, okay? And I also feature Home Arcade and the Playdate Handheld, as well as Retro Toys and other stuff. So, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Kubert, c'est moi. Vous allez voir. Je suis un petit malin bourré de réflexes. Mais est-ce que ça va suffire pour échapper à ces satanés bestioles, Coily et Hugues C'est dur d'être un Kubert. Mais qu'est-ce que c'est un Kubert, une cassette de jeux vidéo par cœur. You are watching Ballistic Hopping Boy.